Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers. Um, today I want to talk to you all about something that's hurting me uh, severely in my soul. Now, I'm trying to watch the movie Ten Commandments. I'm also trying to finish the Gospel of John. I also just finished the movie The Robe. Um, they're religious movies. Anyways, what's really bothering me is I'll tell you, okay? What is bothering me? Well, today... Or last night, I should say, um, I decided to check on uh, Angela um, on her Facebook account. Gone. Poof. She said she was going to delete it. I said, you know, I support her on it. This is after she said I never use mine. Well, my main Facebook account, I never post on the wall. Uh, I've been having a lot of scammers on my main account and then my, uh, you know, so... Anyways, enough about scammers. I'm very hurt at the moment. Very hurt. My soul is burdensome. And I'll tell you why. I don't know if it was a story about the security binky. I don't know if it was a story on whatever. But I want to tell you what my heart's feeling right now. Hurt. My heart and soul is hurting severely. That's right. You see, deep down, I love Angela very much, and I want Angela to be happy, too. One of the people, uh, Jet Black, which Aaron said something about the name being used as an actor or something, or something about Cowboy Bebop, I can't remember. Anyways, Aaron would know these things, but I'm not interested in the name or the origin. Anyways, he said not to push. Well, I don't know if I pushed. All I remember is we got into an argument. I think I upset Angela over, and this is why I haven't been sleeping lately, is Aaron and I were talking about the definition of marriage. Well, each one has their own definition of marriage. I have no clue what the definition of marriage would be because, frankly, I've only been in two relationships in my entire life. Three if you count Angela. But anyways, marriage is built on trust, understanding, and love. Well, I don't know. My uncle who's disabled has got a wife. Most of my cousins are married who are Mormons got a wife. My uh, Lutheran cousins from my uncle's side has wives. Everyone I know has a wife. Oh, my cousin I believe who's gay has got a husband, but that's just what I've heard. I don't know if it's true or false. I can't, you know. Out of all the people in the entire family, I think it's one of my aunts isn't married again after her husband died at 75 or so in the Air Force. My mom's brother, the good-looking one, they all made jokes about him. But anyways, enough about that. It seems in my family, if you take all my family, it seems I'm the only one that's not married. Uh, I don't know. Uh, my half-sister and nephew... Nephew, brother, sister, niece, whatever you call it, the it's, I, I don't know what to call it, I'm kind of confused, but anyways, they might not be married, but they have kids, from what I understand, but maybe I'm just too pushing, I don't know. I don't know what I should be feeling right now. I feel hurt, I feel, I don't know, very betrayed. some ways, I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do anymore. Maybe I should give her some time. I mean, she wiped out her, her uh, YouTube channel too today. She deleted her YouTube channel. She deleted her Facebook. She deleted her her Tumblr, her Twitter, her WordPress, everything. I don't know what to do. She's done this to me three times. Three times. She disappeared and then comes back. Erin says she can't handle the heat. And she can't handle confrontation. Or she can't handle, you know, marriage or whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know what goes through the girl's head. I really don't. I'm just hoping she's watching somewhere on one of these channels or 
you know. Aaron said we shouldn't have brought up the topics of marriage and compromise and those topics, but you see, I brought them up because I loved Angela and I figured it'd be some guidance for Angela, but it seems it wasn't guidance. It seems, well, you understand. It was bad. Very bad. I don't know what to say or do. All I know is I got my fan going right now. Not air conditioner, but fan. It helps drown out the noise. I have a problem with my hearing. I've been sitting here moping for a while. I've been asking Jesus and God for advice on what to do. I was going to send Angela a couple more gifts in a few days when I got paid, but I don't know. Right now my heart is hollow. I don't know if I did this to myself. I do want to make a statement on something else before I log off today because this is burdensome. Brother Aaron and a friend of mine who's a fellow minister both are diagnosed with multiple personality disorder or dissociative identity disorder which means they have more little people in their heads. They thought maybe Angela had that. Angela's disabled. Well, that would mean that one of her other personalities came out and deleted her accounts, not wanting to be found, uh, not wanting to, uh, you know, be no known is what I should say. Or, I, I don't know, I could have upset her. But the other thing is, and I've done some research on that, is borderline personality disorder. Yeah. Uh, that could be a possibility too because Aaron was talking about it because all his exes had borderline personality disorder so I don't know it doesn't matter what Angela has disabled wise what really matters is I'd like to be there you know I mean yes her questions never were really truly answered like what happens after the honeymoon well I was going to give that decision up to her. I mean, I can't leave here until my lease is up. And I haven't talked to the manager yet about the lease rules. I was going to see her on rent day and ask her about it. Then, you know, bring it up to Angela, but she's gone. I really wanted to go to Disneyland or Disney World with Angela because it seems so, so fun. But since... I can't go to theme parks without Angela. I guess I'll have to choose a different vacation coming up in April. April. You see, the reason why I wanted the theme parks is Aaron wanted to go. He wanted to keep an eye on me. Well, truthfully, he figured me and Angela could keep an eye on Moppy while he rides some of the rides, otherwise he can't ride on rides because Moppy's his service dog. Well, you get the point. Anyways, theme parks are all out until I have a third person and well, I wanted a companion to go to, um, you know, companionship. I mean, the whole thing about what to do after a honeymoon, I don't know. I'm not married. I never have been married, so I have no clue. I have no clue whether a person goes on a honeymoon and then goes back to their parents or stays with me. I just don't know. I've never come across that. That's the thing. I don't know. But I will tell you this. I will have to change my goals around until she surfaces again. I just hope I didn't screw up. Maybe I'm pushy, maybe I'm not. I don't know. I have no clue. Right now my heart's hollow. As far as the... The, um... The honeymoon? I don't know. I have no clue anymore. So... What's bothering me is simple. My heart's hollow. I miss Angela. 
but there's nothing I can do. In some ways, three years ago, since I've known her, and she's done this to me three times, disappeared for six months or more. Sometimes, as Aaron said, it doesn't pay, or not pay, but it doesn't, it, uh, how do I say it without hurting feelings? Sometimes, some people wish they didn't even know the person, or didn't even come into their life, you know, Angela's a sweet girl, yes, I've given her advice, I've given her ideas, she's wanting to have bet more videos than me and my channel, but that goal went down the toilet really quickly, you know, but sometimes I wish I just didn't meet any women and become a hermit the rest of my life or a monk I mean I don't know what to say anyways I will post another video later of my feelings please add and subscribe if you like please post comments in the box if you like please add me as a friend if you like thank you and have a nice day